this lecture we will going to talk about the infection control and sterilization service unit SSU design in primary health care PHC the main topic in this lecture will be infection control in SSU hand hygiene personal protective equipment respiratory hygiene and cough etiquette environmental hygiene occupational safety and finally SSU design the main function or the main purpose of SSU in PHC is to stop the spread of infection uh, SSU staff must assure that item used in patient care including instruments or any other equipment are free from microorganisms that can be harm to patient and hospital staff by following correct practice, we can provide safe instrument for use on patient. The most important standard precaution we should follow is hand hygiene. Hand hygiene is essential step to prevent any disease transmission in healthcare facilities. Starting, ending, and between the procedure, the SSU staff should practice correct hand hygiene. We have two types of hand hygiene, hand wash with soup and water, or hand rub with alcohol based. Hand wash station including hand washing sink, soup, paper towels, and hand sanitizer dispensers. Hand washing station should be located in the decontamination area or near the entrance. So the hand washing station should be near the decontamination area or uh, inside the decontamination area. Hand washing station should be located in, uh, or near the entrance of clean area but never inside the sterile storage or the inside the inspection assembly and packaging uh, area and sterilization area. For the purpose of protecting the packaging and package material from splash may occur. Hand should be washed with soup and water for at least 40 seconds to 60 seconds. To apply correct hand wash, first wet hands with water, then apply enough amount of soap. You should cover all your hand surface with water and soap. Second, put the right palm over left dorsum. Apply finger interlacing, then apply it with other hands. After that, rub palm to palm with finger interlacing, then rub back of fingers to uh, opposing uh, palm. After that, perform rotational rubbing of left thumb, clasp in right palm, then face first. Uh, then rotational rubbing, you should apply rotational rubbing backward and forward with the clasped fingers of right hand in the left palm, then face first. Thoroughly rinse uh, hands with water. Uh, you should dry your hands carefully with a single use paper towel, then use the towel to turn off a uh, faucet. Your hands are now clean and safe once they are dry. Pictures show the correct uh, hand wash technique uh, with soap and water duration of the uh, entire procedure between 40 to 60 seconds this slide talk about the hand wash moments uh, CSSD staff should wash their hands uh, in, uh, entering and leaving from the dirty area before entering and after leaving the dirty area we should apply hand wash before performing of donning and after doffing of personal protective equipment we should apply hand wash uh, whenever their hands become soiled or contaminated immediately remove gloves and perform hand washing and hand washing hand washing must be performed in case of gloves tear with accumulation of fluid inside the gloves before and after using the toilet, 
uh, before and after touching food in the lounge, before entering any clean work area or planning to touch a sterile wax, we should apply hand wash. Hand rub dispenser containing of about 70 to 80 percent of isopropanol, 1 percent of glycerin, and less than 1 percent uh, of vitamin E. Hand rub types fit for CSSD either uh, wall mounted alcohol gel or desktop alcohol gel. Dispenser in wall should be located near or uh, near all the work area, even if it's dirty area or clean area. Hands should be washed with soap and water for at least 20 seconds to 30 seconds. Apply correct hand rub technique. You should cover the entire surface of your hand with the sanitizer, then rub palms together, then rub the back of your left hand with your right hand interlacing fingers then vice versa rub the palm of your hands together interlacing fingers then back of fingers with opposing palms finger interlock rotation rubbing of the left thumb then the right one rotational rubbing backward and forward with the clasp fingers of right hand in left palm and vice versa then your hands are clean once they are dry shows how to apply correct hand wrap with pictures and duration of the entire procedure between 20 to 30 seconds slide we will talk about the hand wrap moments or what is the moment that we should apply hand wrap after each set inspection assembly so after each uh, inspection or any uh, inspection of the instrument we should apply hand wrap before unloading or loading the package and sit in the sterilizer and and after dispatching the instrument after touching your eyes nose or mouth and after touching your mask touching an items or service that may be frequently touched by other stuff in the CSSD for example, door handles, tables, telephone, uh, racks, uh, handles. The most important standard precaution is the respiratory hygiene and cough etiquette. What is the respiratory hygiene and cough etiquette? It is the infection prevention measures designed to limit the transmission of respiratory pathogens spread by droplet or airborne routes. Uh, we have here picture, it's, uh, this picture show the correct way to cover the nose and the mouth from uh, any droplet or airborne roots. And one of the most important standard precaution is personal protective equipment. It's equipment worn by an employee for protection against uh, fungus materials. Uh, SSU workers should protect by uh, PPE in order to critically prevent exposure to blood and other potentially hazardous materials. So the CSSU workers should apply PPEs in correct way and employees should also select appropriate personal protective equipment and must receive training on PPEs how to use it and how to put it uh, and uh, the, the correct way of donning and doffing PPE. Also, the SSU staff, our employee, must understand the importance of warning the proper PPEs in each area. Two, protect themselves from potential hazard pre uh, present in the dirty devices or dirty instrument during, for example, uh, manual cleaning uh, and choose the appropriate PPEs based on the SSU area's requirement. Uh, so the dirty area uh, PPEs requirement is different than clean area. Don and do PPEs in proper order. We have special order to don and do PPEs. 
limit service and items touch while we're, uh, wearing the PPEs. We have this table show the different type of PPEs. Uh, the, uh, kind, uh, type of PPEs, the definition of PPEs, and the picture. So we have the gloves. The gloves protect our hands. The gowns protect skin and clothing. Face mask protect uh, mucous members of mouth. Uh, we have the goggles protect eyes, and we have the face shield uh, mucous members of face, mouth, nose, and eyes. In this slide, we will going to talk about the correct sequence for donning and doffing PPEs. Sequence for donning PPEs, first of all, we should wear the gown, then goggles or face shield, mask or respirator, and then gloves. For removing PPEs, we should wear gloves, gown, face shield, then mask. This picture shows the correct uh, donning and doffing of personal protective equipment. Also, one of the important standard precautions we have dress code. Uh, SSU technician should wear clean surgical attire, detected shoes, head cover, and attire change daily or as needed if wet or visibly contaminated and laundered. For example, if uh, we do the hand wash and our uh, attar or uh, surgical attar it's become uh, dirty we should change it immediately personnel should not wear jewelry or wa uh, washes on the hands or wrists uh, ssu staff also should change into straight clothes whenever leaving the healthcare facility SSU technician should always keep fingernails short and clean at all time. And nail brush or acrylic nails are not allowed. The most uh, topics we should talk about is environmental hygiene. Uh, all dis dis disinfectants and detergent must be approved from MOH. Environmental cleaning is not allowed during the sterilization process due to the possibility of dust spread into reusable medical device. Uh, apply environmental cleaning method regularly should be uh, maintained uh, for the floor are swept and whipped, uh, moved at least after each decontamination process in the decontamination area floor are swept and wet moved at least after each shift in cleaning area so there is a special situation uh, for decontamination area then a cleaning area for the floor cleaning uh, high touch service are horizontally cleaned and disinfect at least at the beginning and the end of each shift and when there is any accidental uh, contamination decontamination Sinks should be cleaned and disinfected after each shift and more frequently as needed. Also, the work table are preferably cleaned before and after starting the sorting process in decontamination area or uh, the inspection process in the instrument assembly and packaging area uh, or clean area in SSU. Also, shelves, cabinets, racks, walls, light fixator, and air vent and ceiling are cleaned on a regular uh, schedule. Uh, cleaning equipment should be detected for each work area. So the equipment for cleaning the clean area is different uh, from equipment that cleaning the dirty area. Proper storage for the cleaning equipment after use must be kept clean and dry. Uh, cleaning activities should B. Documented. All environmental service should be clean, free of dust and insects. The uh, sequence of cleaning should be from clean area to dirty area, and from high area to low area, and from last to most contaminated area. In this topic, we will go to talk about the occupational safety. We have uh, first, sharp injury. So all CSSD technician or staff must be fully immunized according to occupational health regulations. 
in case of needle stick injuries, incidents following procedure must be followed. Uh, uh, first, wash the wound using running water. So we wash the wounds uh, under the running water. Don't scrub the wound and do not squeeze the uh, puncture site. Dry the wound and cover it with a waterproof plaster or dressing. Contact infection prevention and control team or the supervisor. Then report the injury to employee health clinic. The second point we should talk about it in occupational safety is chemical and bio biological hazard. So chemical detergent must be labeled with opening date, sorted and handled appropriately using a safety data sheet SDS for use chemical and keep them uh, ready, uh, readily available in all area in SSU. Follow emergency procedure and protocols to deal with biological spills. Spill kits should be available at contaminated area and SSU technician should be trained about how to use this spill kit. A technician must follow the SDS and, and structure for uh, chemical and biological reactions. Also, if blood contact with eye, rinse the eye gently for at least 30 seconds with water or normal uh, saline in the eye wash station or by using the eye wash emergency bottle. Then if blood or body fluids are spread into the mouth, spit out and then rinse with uh, mouth with water several times. The most important point also we will talk about it in the occupational safety is the waste management. We have, the, we have three types of waste management. We have the black bag, the yellow bag, and the sharp container. So, uh, the waste should be available in all area inside the SSUs, even if it's a clean area or dirty area. All material that have been used in the decontamination area should be disposed on the black bag. Also, the single-use item biological indicator will should be disposed inside the yellow bag. Any sharp item should be disposed in sharp container. Waste should be segregated accurately that no medical waste is inside the regular waste container. The last topic we are going to talk about in this lecture is the SSU design. Uh, SSU must have physical barriers with a clean demarcation for clean and dirty area. Uh, so the SSU should be have to, or should have two uh, area, the dirty area and the clean area, and should be segregated. Uh, walls should be covered or painted with a smooth paint or cover that could be easy clean. So the walls should be uh, cleanable, easy to be clean and disinfect. Uh, windows are not allowed in both area and if present should be permanently closed. Uh, receiving and dispatching space are available in SSU for allowing the process of uh, receiving uh, the dirty instrument and also for uh, receive the uh, dirty device without spread the infection and the distribution the sterile items without breaking the sterility. Also uh, for sterile item uh, there, is, there should be space to uh, dispatching the or dis, uh, dispatching the sterile items. The ceiling in the restricted area should be constructed of enclosed smooth fixator that hold all pipes and the uh, ductwork and reco uh, decorative parts are not allowed. Those should be made of uh, durable, smooth, and cleanable material. Floor should be constructed of smooth material that can withstand daily cleaning and disinfection with uh, approved MOH detergent and disinfectant. In this slide, we have the SSU design, as we uh, say before, the SSU design should be separate, for, uh, dirty area is separate than clean area. Then we have the third area, the sterile storage, which the sterile items should be stored in this area. 
traffic control and workflow. So the reprocessing of reusable medical device must be done in the CSS in the SSU and none of the cleaning, disinfection and sterilization process is done in the clinic. So all the activity of cleaning and disinfection should be done in SSU. SSU should be away from the main traffic pattern and restricted area for authorized person with a clear sign posted on the SSU entrance. Also, the SSU clean and dirty area should be physically separated to prevent cross-contamination. Also, also, the SSU uh, stuff should be organized to support undirectional flow of the uh, of workflow dirty to clean for reprocessing the surgical instrument. So, the dirty to clean area is the uh, unidirectional flow for the surgical instrument. This table shows the environmental control of SSU facilities. So we have two area, dirty area and clean area. The temperature should be in dirty area from 18 to 20 Celsius. It should be negative air pressure and the humidity from 30 to 60. For the clean area, the temperature should be from 20 to 23. It should be positive air pressure and the humidity from 30 to 60.